Thank you for staying with us. Old Salem is getting into the spooky spirit for Halloween. Starting this weekend, guests can participate in night watchman tours. So here to tell us more is Joey Upper, the director of external relations at Old Salem. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing great over here. So can you tell us first what the Halloween night watchman tours entail? Absolutely. So Old Salem's Night Watchman tours uh, are uh, actually an older tradition that uh, Old Salem has done uh, that we haven't done for the past few years that we're getting the opportunity to bring back. Um, it is just another opportunity we have here to uh, show off our district in the evening, which is just a special time for us, um, and walk through some of the uh, holiday uh, seasons here. So uh, very famous World Salem is our uh, evening tours through the holiday season, Christmas, and uh, um, this is another one where we can uh, talk a little bit more about the spooky season and some of the uh, more dark things that happened here over the course of uh, Old Salem's uh, period of study. Yeah, always very festive in that area. So this feels very fitting, though, to go through the history and maybe mysteries there. Can you tell us more about what the tours are like, the experience that this entails? Absolutely. So uh, when you come here for a night watchman tour, um, you are escorted around uh, by a uh, costumed interpreter. That's what we call our historic guides here through the district that we're so famous for. Um, and they will walk you through a lantern lit around through a significant part of the district uh, as they investigate true stories uh, from the records uh, that we keep here in Old Salem of uh, stories of spirits and then real stories of fires and uh, ruffians that came through the district and corpses too. Um, we've got original buildings, of course, where these mysteries and tragedies all took place, which we're going to make a point of uh, showing off here. And uh, while Old Salem is known, uh, it's got a very nostalgic place in people's hearts in this area of the community. Uh, there are a lot of unknowns here, and uh, there's a lot of uh, instability, especially when this place was first getting started. Uh, so Old Salem's got a very famous ghost. A lot of people like to say it resides right around my office, but I haven't seen it yet, uh, <laughs> along with some stories that uh, folks have never heard before, which is really special. I was just about to say, why do you feel like it's important that people get to know this side of Old Salem, especially this time of the year? It feels very fitting. Absolutely, yes. Uh, why would you say that it's important that people get to learn this history, getting to know those untold stories that you maybe know in your office, but other people don't? Absolutely. So uh, Old Salem, as I've mentioned before, is very well known for a couple of things as children, people come through here for a special kind of student experience. A lot of field trips come through here. Uh, a lot of young families come through. And then, of course, we have our holiday programming, which is what we're really famous for. Um, but there's a lot more to Old Salem than that. And one of the things that people that, you know, we focus in on these historic trades, we've got our wonderful gardens. Um, but this is a part of a much larger story in North Carolina history. Um, and a part of that is settling a frontier that was not known to European uh, settlers at that point in time. So there's a lot of uh, kind of carving out from the wilderness uh, that previously didn't exist. Um, and a lot of lore that was getting built out from people that were dealing with a lot of unknowns. And it's a very different mindset uh, than what most people approach Old Salem with. Well, Joey, we only have a little bit of time left with you, but we hear there's a special promotion going on to for people to give in support of disaster relief for Western North Carolina. Can you speak more to that? We'd love to plug that. Absolutely, yes. So uh, one of the things we've been trying to focus on, of course, is uh, this whole state has mobilized uh, to support uh, the efforts that are going on to help Western North Carolina get, get a handle on what they're dealing with right now. Um, and one of the things we can do here is a very small way to give back. But if you come, we have a donation uh, collection center here. If you drop something off, you come to our desk, uh, you're going to get $10 off every ticket that you buy uh, that day uh, for these events. It's a nice way to uh, be able to give back a little bit and come see something uh, that's in tune with the season. Awesome. Joey, thank you so much for touching on all of that. Everyone at home, Old Salem's not Night Watchman tours are happening every weekend this month and on Halloween. Tickets are $50 per person, but again, you can get that discount if you're donating. You can find the complete list of time slots for the month on OldSalem.org.